This news update is brought to you by. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Tuesday, September 2nd, 2014. I'm Don Paris. Good afternoon. Unemployment in Barbados is on the rise. According to the latest figures released by the Economic Affairs Division, just over 13% of the population had no jobs at the end of June. At the end of March, the average rate of unemployment stood at 11.7%. The statistics revealed today show that overall, more than 19,000 people are unemployed. Of that number, 9,700 are females, while males account for 9,400. Outgoing Executive Director of the Barbados Family Planning Association, George Griffith, is again making a strong case for the introduction of comprehensive sex education in schools. According to Griffith, teenage pregnancy remains a major concern in the region, so much so that CARICOM recently completed a strategic framework for the reduction of adolescent pregnancy. Noting that fertility rates among Barbadian adolescents stand at 15% per 1,000, Griffith says sex education is a must. Comprehensive sexuality education, if introduced, will ensure that children are informed with good quality information. They will understand their bodies and how their bodies work. The, the, the emotional implications of the transition from childhood to puberty, what happens at puberty, what happens throughout adolescence. It will be arming children with that information, education and the skill to protect themselves. Meantime, Griffith, who handed over the reins of the BFPA to new head Juliet Bino Sutherland after over 20 years at the helm, is suggesting that the Family Planning Association has contributed significantly to the progress of women in Barbados. Not enough people recognize the contribution of the family planning movement to the social and economic development of modern Barbados. And we have to continue to stress that, and I dare say as well, the fact that women in Barbados now, in the words of um, Errol Bauer, are at the commanding heights of the social and economic development of this country. Because without the ability to exercise control over fertility, women in Barbados would not have made this rapid strides they have made over the years. There will be no classes at the University of the West Indies CAFL campus for the Humanities Department at least for another week. The news comes amid reports that the number of students signing up for courses in that department had sharply declined. An email has been circulating to students informing them that the university needs more time to carry out what it says is internal reorganization. But Barbados Today understands that UE is in the process of accepting late registrations in the hopes of boosting the number of students applying for courses offered by the faculty. The delay comes even as Education Minister Ronald Jones dismissed as foolish noise comments that government's new policy has led to a major dip in enrollment numbers at the Keyfield campus. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. We move to St. Lucia where health authorities have set up a medical Ebola team at the Hiwanora International Airport. 
The Ministry of Health says the move is part of its overall process to ready the island for the deadly virus. The department is also looking to strengthen port surveillance at all other entry points and work is already underway to provide similar assistance at the George F. L. Charles Airport. Authorities hope that this strategy will help identify and track arriving passengers who may have been exposed to Ebola due to their travel history. Meantime, on the international scene, the highly anticipated test of an experimental Ebola vaccine is scheduled to begin in the coming days. Researchers have been given the green light to try what is now called a human safety trial by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The experimental vaccine will first be given to three healthy human volunteers to see if they suffer any adverse effects. If it's successful, it will then be given to another small group of volunteers aged 18 to 50 to see if it produces a strong immune response to the virus. And that's where we end our noon Barbados Today update. We'll be back again at 6 this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and our email updates, and like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or on Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Don Paris. Have a safe and wonderful day, and join us again at 6 this evening. This news update. Brought to you by...